And so imagine too trying to get up in the middle oh, of the no, night. Oh no, it's B in the middle of the night? Yeah. I don't know, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to I Might Be Chad, an Idiot's Guide to Los Angeles. We are here at my humble studio in downtown Los Angeles. If this is your first time watching the channel, prepare to have your mind blown as we are about ready to review the top three tree hammocks for your next camping adventure. You ready to have your mind blown? Let's do this. What's up guys? Massive props to all these guys that do these camping tech review, product review things. They look easy, but these are a huge pain in the ass. There's so much research and numbers. You don't want to be giving out the wrong information. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Luis Trujillo. He came in and shot that amazing opening sequence and all these beautiful insert shots. That opening sequence took us like 12 tries to get that whole amazing opening done. I decided to finally do uh, a review of three camping hammocks this time. Uh, one is actually more of a tree tent uh, than a hammock, but kind of falls in the same category. And instead of doing the setup and all that stuff, there's plenty of videos out there that shows you how to set up these tents and hammocks. Uh, I'm basically going to go over more of the pros and cons of each of these uh, and a bit of information for people that are just beginning to start hammock camping. An important thing to know is that everyone is going to have their own opinion on hammock or tent camping. It's going to depend on your body type, uh, the type of camping that you're trying to do, whether it's car camping, whether it's backcountry camping, uh, the environments that you're going to be camping in. So that's the most important thing when, when I realized when doing product reviews is again, this is just my own personal opinion. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about these hammocks. First off, size. Uh, the Eno hammock obviously is the most portable and lightest and cheapest hammock out of the three. This is the Eno Double Nest. Uh, it comes in at 20 ounces and ranges at about 70 bucks. You can probably get them a little bit cheaper online. By far the most portable. It's amazing how small this thing is. And so the next hammock is the Amok Drummer 3.0. This is the third generation of this hammock. A uh, super interesting design. You actually sleep the opposite way in this hammock. We're going to go over the details on that in a minute, but again, you can see it's still pretty portable. Uh, this one's a little bit heavier. It comes in at about 6.25 pounds. This is for everything. The hammock, the sleeping pad, uh, and the tarp uh, is going to run you about 400 bucks. Uh, the last one we're going to do, again, is not necessarily a hammock, it's more of a tree tent. Um, this is the Tensile Flight Plus. Kind of looks like a spaceship, and it's one of the reasons I, I bought it, uh, for, for the for this sheer gimmicky kind of factor on it. I fell for it, I really wanted one, I wanted to try one out. Uh, I'm glad that I did, I really do like this tent. Uh, this falls into a whole nother category, uh, but it runs you about 350 bucks for everything. And just to show you size comparison of this, this is my Osprey Atmos uh, 55 liter backpack. Uh, so you can see 
that the tensile takes up some massive real estate uh, in a backpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up these hammocks inside uh, my studio here, which is kind of set up perfectly for it. Again, I'm not going to show you the setup of each of these. They're kind of a pain in the butt, especially this big guy right here. There are plenty of review videos on YouTube that you can see exactly how to set up each of these sleep systems. I'm basically doing this review to show more of the pros and cons of each one. So let's set these bad boys up and let me show you the differences of these three sleep systems. Founded in 1999 by brothers Peter and Paul Pinholster, Eagle's Nest Outfitters eventually grew to become the world's industry leader in parachute hammocks. The standout hammock was the release of the Eno Double Nest. It's made of a high tenacity nylon taffeta. Each seam is triple stitched for durability. The Double Nest is just over nine feet long and six feet wide with a weight capacity of 400 pounds. The compression sack is stitched directly onto the hammock and compresses down to an impressive 4.5 inches and weighs in at an amazing 19 ounces or 1.19 pounds. It uses custom lightweight aluminum wire gate carabiners also rated at 400 pounds. ENO produces its own line of quality suspension straps featuring the popular Atlas XL. The straps feature 40 combined adjustment points for rigging and tension options. The straps are made of a tree-friendly polyfilament webbing and it extends to an impressive 13 feet 6 inches and the straps itself are 1 inch wide. The straps weigh in at 16 ounces and also includes a small compression sack. For bug protection, the Eno Guardian SL is the minimalist choice with a sleeve-like entry instead of the common zipper entry of other bug nets. Made of a superfine noceum mesh, you are guaranteed to be insect free. It comes with its own ridge line and is approximately 9 feet long by 3 inches wide and weighs an incredible 9 ounces. The Amok Dremor 3.0 is the third generation of this Norwegian-based hammock company. It was founded in 2013 by an incredible team currently based out of Oslo, Norway. Eunice, Steiner, and Mikkel have created a state-of-the-art suspension system that hangs vertical instead of the common horizontal design of other hammocks. This first-of-its-kind design incorporates a sleeve which allows you to insert a sleeping pad, thus giving you the ability to sleep completely flat. The adjustable interior cinch buckle design also allows you to convert this hammock into a full recliner, which is another reason why this hammock is a standout among the competition as they are the only company doing this. It is constructed of a highly durable 70D ripstop nylon. The suspension straps are sewn right in and are 8 feet long. The aluminum carabiners are color coded for easy setup and also include integrated flaps to protect the trees. The hammock, bug net and suspension pack down to a remarkable 12 by 7 inches and still comes in at a reasonable 46 ounces or 3 pounds. Fully open, the hammock is 6.25 feet long and 2.33 feet wide, giving you the flexibility to utilize trees that are way closer to each other. It also features an integrated bug net, which is sewn directly into the hammock. With a pouch, you can easily store it when not in use. On top of the bug net, there's a small bungee with a carabiner you can connect to the ridge line to keep the mesh out of your face. Amok manufactures its own design of tarps and sleeping pads, which are sold separately, like the insulated fuel pad, which comes with a portable inflation bag. This pad is insulated and comes in at 32 ounces or 2 pounds. The 3.0 tarp is made of a 30D ripstop sil sil nylon. It covers 8.8 .8 feet in length and 6.4 feet in width and weighs in at 21 ounces or 1.31 pounds. Now this is by far one of my favorite sleep systems and if not for the weight would be my number one choice for backpacking. 
Inspired by Return of the Jedi's Ewok tree village as a child, Alec Shirley Smith went on to become an architect and many years later designed the world's first portable tree tent. There's nothing more magical than being like 12 feet off the ground, feeling part of nature, knowing that you're not damaging anything. The Tent Sile Flight Plus is a two-person tent and will definitely have heads turning at every campsite you set this up at. It uses two anodized aluminum alloy poles with a cross-based design to create three feet of interior height and it also features an integrated bug net with two-door access. Now I'm assuming to cut pack weight, it uses a one ratchet three strap design, which does have a learning curve involved as precision setup with lots of practice is needed to ensure proper function. The tent fabric is made of 40D nylon polyester composite, reinforced with 12 meters of 25 millimeter webbing for incredible durability and stretch with a 285 pound load capacity. The three tree straps are made of abrasion-proof polyester webbing and comes with a heavy-duty, high-grade ratchet buckle. The included rainfly comes in five colors and it's made of a 70D waterproof coated polyester. It comes with six guy lines for ultimate protection. So underneath, there's an adjustment strap that runs the whole length of the tent. Fully loosen it for one person, or tighten it all the way to create separation between the two people sleeping inside. Now at a whopping 8.8 .8 pounds, this is definitely not a backpacking tent, even with weight distributed by two people. This tent is best suited for really cool car camping or really, really short hiking trips where you're gonna be there for multiple days. But as far as design and concept goes, definitely at the top of the list. So now that you've gotten to see the three hammocks, uh, make sure you watch part two of this episode where I bring in my amazing friend Livia, and Livia is a completely inexperienced camper. She's only slept in a tent in regular campgrounds a few times, but as far as hammock camping goes, she's never done it before. Again, thanks again guys for watching, and we'll see you on part two. Who has car alarms anymore? Like, nobody goes out to the car if it's getting broken into.